Okay, um, the recording has started. So um, again, good afternoon. And uh, so this is a Q&A session. So uh, let's go around the table and uh, check in with each other. So uh, if you have a question, please raise them. And if you don't have any questions, just share your uh, progress so far. And uh, yeah, let's do that. So uh, let's start from the bottom up. So Zorufail, can you speak? Thank you. On my side, I have already, already finished my technical challenge. Uh, but I need some clarification on automating uh, Asana. Okay, so um, I just want you to be specific. So, uh, what do you mean, uh, automatic Asana? I think all technical challenge documents, uh, the last sentence says automate tasks assign tasks to on asana so how we can automate or that we can put the uh, tasks on three categories to do doing and uh, then so uh, yeah on task management using uh, yeah task management or ta task assignment using uh, as asana by Automating it means that like uh, Asana by default it would send a reminder. You can send a reminder, or if you remember, we have seen about putting a not notification or putting your notification on in Asana by adjusting the setting part, right? So you're just supposed to assign uh, to adjust the setting and yeah, just give the people uh, a, a reminder. For example, when you assign me in Asana, I just got a, a, a notification from. Asana that would tell me that I am assigned for this thing. So yeah, also meeting means just putting a reminder for uh, the tasks that you have assigned th those people. So. Um, okay, so is that clear or is that fail? Yeah, yeah. That's okay, good. that's good. Okay, good. Um, Geshi, can you speak? If you can speak, please share your progress and uh, if there are any uh, blockers that you have faced, uh, share, uh, ask, ask and we can solve it to, together. Geshi? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Good afternoon, everyone. So, uh, for my side, I already submitted tax one and the tax two. Uh, I look for it for the remaining tax, uh, maybe uh, this night, and uh, I will try to finalize up to Saturday. Uh, if I face any difficulty, I will write on Slack as usual. Okay. Um, thank you, Yashi, for sharing. Um, uh, can you open your mic? Okay. Uh, okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, also, I'm doing on uh, task three. I have generated the speech by using AI. A little bit modification is uh, left just for making it prepared, auto prepared for the final submission. And again, uh, um, I will do on the for the task for task four. Tonight, I will uh, finish it, I hope. And if there is a challenge, I will uh, communicate you. Thank you. OK, um, that's good. So everyone is having, uh, I believe, uh, no challenge so, so far, so just a good thing. But um, one thing I want to add uh, is when you use AI to generate um, or uh, speech or your documents or the any type of things, maybe just make sure to go over it uh, at least once or twice, uh, because uh, we have talked about this, I think, in the beginning of the training that AI is not perfect. So it makes a lot of 
mistakes and we see this uh, every week uh, because of uh, like lack of verification uh, small mistakes or errors are going to be visible and are going to be uh, like affecting your work so make sure to just uh, go through your work at least once or twice uh, yeah that's it for me anything uh, you want to add or it or no actually yeah good luck with your task i don't have anything to add okay. you're in okay. yeah okay so are there any other questions guys if not i think it's safe to just end the session here any questions if not show me some thumbs up and we we can use the session okay zero five Okay, thank you. Uh, my question is, I think we can write the switch for three persons, the best friend or the best man, uh, the honor and the parents. So can we take those from invited persons or we can assume someone from our side? Okay, um, that's a good question, but it's not just for three per per persons, right? So, parents mean uh, like at least two. Um, but yeah, you just have to ask you uh, for this part because, uh, I, yeah. But you can use since there. Are, since uh, I think I, I have mentioned this in the the first introduction, the joint introduction, that since uh, these people are uh, the groom and the bride are famous. You can look through, uh, go through uh, the internet and find the names of their parents and uh, their best friends. So, who might be their uh, maid of honor or the, their best man? You can at least find their names. So, like, it's just like a minute or two uh, of extra work. So, uh, like, for me, I think that's better. Thank you. Okay. okay, anyone else? If there are no questions, show me some thumbs up and we can end the session. Um, okay, what about the rest? Okay. okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. Okay, thank you for joining you guys.